So that means that just the way I am has created a path to my happiness. I don't have to change me to get to the goal. I just have to realize that there's a path that has been defined for me, and I need to get in touch with it, and it ain't Charles. You know, the goal is the same that we all share. The way we're going to get there, we're going to use the same rules, but the rules are going to come in their own form, their own people, their own packages, their own situations and circumstances. So therefore, I cannot judge the rightness or the wrongness of my path by what you are doing. You know what I'm saying? All you're showing me is your individualized curriculum to the same place that we're trying to go. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that happens when you begin to get on your spiritual path is you cannot look to others for validation anymore. You can't look for others' approval in order for you to move in the direction you got to move anymore because you're on your own unique path, and therefore it's not anybody else's path. And you can always tell when you are on somebody else's path because when you're utilizing somebody else's path, you aren't satisfied mm -hmm. with what's going on. Mm -hmm. So if you're using the path that the world told you you should be on and you don't feel fulfilled, it's because that ain't your path. It's somebody else's path. It's the path, that's sit, it's the path of the person that's sitting on their yacht. <laughs> it's like you buying that stuff or whatever. <laughs> it's like, it's that path for sure. 